Hello students, welcome to Unfold Service video classes. In this video, I will discuss some important thing regarding S block elements, which is very much important in your class 11 and competitive exam question may also come. Okay, so S block that is group 1, group 1 are known as alkali metals group 1. Why group 1? Because it has 1s1, it has valence shell 2s1, 3s1, 4s1, 5s1, 6s1 and 7s1. In this case that is group 2. Why group 2? Because valence electrons are 1s2, 2s2, 3s2, sorry 2s2, 3s2, 4s2, this is 5s2, 6s2 and 7s2. Okay. So in the valence shell as we have seen that only one electron is there that is why group 1 and in this case only two electrons are there that is why it is group 2 fine so to remember we can also apply a trick his last son plays rugby cricket and football that means hydrogen last means lithium son means sodium plays means potassium rugby means rubidium and it is cesium it is francium and in this case but my come son begs for rugby but means beryllium, magnesium, cum means calcium, son means strontium, barium, begs for means barium and radium that is rugby again. So group 1 materials they have high ionization, they have low ionization energy because ionization energy I have discussed in detail in my lecture on periodic properties that the minimum amount of energy that is required to remove one electron from its valence electron to produce a cation in its gaseous state okay that is known as ionization energy so these elements we can see here only in the valence shell one electron is there that is why it has a tendency very very tendency it have a tendency that to remove one electron very easily that means they will be associated with lower ionization energy values whereas these compounds these elements having fulfilled electronic configuration so they don't have a tendency group 2 elements don't have a tendency to remove electron very much easily that is why their first ionization energies we can compare first ionization energies of group 1 is much less than ie one of group 2 elements okay but if we consider the second ionization energy that means when lithium lithium plus that means 1 2s1 2 it has formed 2s0 that means it has formed 1s2 then it is ie1 and from this electron when it will be converted to 1s1 part then it is known as ie2 part but this ie2 is quite higher this IE2 is quite higher in all the cases. Why? Because it is fulfilled. It does not have a tendency to remove any electron from the fulfilled. That is why IE2 of IE2 order will be in the reverse manner. IE2 of group 1 is much higher than the IE2 of group 2 elements. Okay. These things are clear. Next is metallic property. That is we know if we move down a group then the distance between nucleus and the valence electron increases so they have a tendency to remove their electron very much easily so they are having good metallic property okay so these group one elements are strong metals than this because they need to lose two electrons they need to lose only one electron to get the nearest noble gas electronic configuration of that is why they are strong metals and this type of S1 that means group alkali metals are also used in photoelectric cell, photovoltaic cell also, okay, photoelectric effect. And the next point we can see that the degree of hydration, degree of hydration of Li plus and Cs plus or Li plus to Cs plus degree of hydration decreases why decreases it is plus one it is also plus one but the size of lithium plus is like that 
then the cesium plus will be like that that means charge density is higher same charge but as the size is smaller that means charge density will be higher so hydration energy depends on two factors that is same charge then charge density higher so hydration energy will be higher and more charge that means higher charge will have higher hydration energy so here plus one plus one but as the charge density is higher that means it will be more surrounded by water molecules and therefore due to that reason higher hydration their speed in the aqueous solution will be very least so ionic conductance from lithium molecules to cs plus will be increased why increased ionic conductance will order increased because when lithium plus molecule will move in the aqueous solution, they will move surrounded by large number of water molecules. So their speed will be decreased. The next point we have that is basic strength. If we move down a group, then metallic property increases and metallic oxides are more basic. So obviously Na2O is less basic than K2O is less basic than Rb2O. The basic order will be like this. I hope you got my point. The basic point is like this. And the basic strength of CSOH is also more than RBOH, is also more than KOH, is also more than NaOH part. This is the basic property because metallic property increases, that means basic property also increases. Now come to the polarizing power part, that is in the Fajan's rule. Fajan's rule part, we know if the cation can attract the electron anionic part towards itself then this power of this cation is known as polarizing power so as the charge density increases in case of lithium then compare as compared to sodium as compared to potassium that means the phi value or the polarizing power of li plus will be more and if phi increases that means polarizing power increases that means what is happening that means phi increases means it will become more covalent so LiCl is more covalent than NaCl so the melting point order obviously NaCl will have a higher melting point than LiCl melting point order is like that why because as it has more charge density so it will attract the Cl minus in a more rapid manner towards itself so Li Cl will have obviously more covalent nature and covalent nature increases means stability or melting point will be lowered but from moving from NaCl to KCl or KCl to Rb why the melting point order is like this because the Rb size of the metal increases that means the lattice becomes more poor this compound will have higher lattice energy that is why it will have higher melting point then come to the part that why the question is there LiF is insoluble in water why LiF is insoluble in water because between LiF and LiCl it is very easier for this lithium to attract the Cl minus because it will have higher polarizing power, it will have a higher phi value. So expected that water solubility will be like this. LiF will be more water soluble. It is expected. But due to smaller size of lithium, due to smaller size of fluorine, what is happening? Lattice energy will be much higher. So water molecule cannot separate them very easily. That is why LiF is very very water insoluble substance. And the next portion that is the very very important part that is the stability of carbonates of this group 1. Stability of carbonates Li2CO3, Na2CO3, K2CO3. If stability is there then when they are heated they will form Li2O they will form Na2O, they will form K2O and CO2 but here what is happening here in this case Li2 is more stable than Na2 is more stable than K2O because Li is small size, oxygen small size so lithium carbonate has a tendency to get converted into Li2O very much easily 
so small temperature lower temperature is required to get convert this substance that is why the thermal stability order increases from top to bottom that means Li2CO3 is less stable than Na2CO3 is less stable than K2CO3 it is also applicable for group 2 uh, elements also that means BeCO3 is less stable than MgCO3 and so on the reason is same as follows next is B BeO that is beryllium oxide is amphoteric in nature amphoteric why because it can form salt and water by the reaction with NaOH also and by the reaction with HCl also it can form salt and water that is why it is amphoteric in nature MgO weakly basic CaO basic it is weakly basic it is basic and SRO BaO they are strongly basic they are strongly basic because as we move down a group then metallic property increases and metallic property increases it indicates the basic property also increases okay next term is why BeCl2 next question is very much important why BeCl2 can form this one type of structure can form polymer type of structure why BeCl2 whole n can form y because BeCl2 has only four electrons surrounding itself so to maintain its octet to fulfill its octet it will take electrons from the others that is why BeCl2 the structure will follow a large structure similarly why alkali metals are not found in free state because alkali metals have what I have said they have low ionization energy that means they are more reactive they easily donate their lone pairs that means they are more reactive they can make reaction with oxygen with sulfur very much easily so Na2O sodium chloride sodium can be obtained in the form of like that not in free sodium but platinum palladium uh, gold silver they are very much less reactive they are weak metals that is why their stability is higher that is why they can be obtained in the free state so they have higher cost so to obtain the metals, alkali metals it can be stored in kerosene so that oxygen cannot penetrate the layer of this kerosene to make a reaction with that group 1 metal okay then the next question is that why LiI is more is uh, uh, more soluble than Ki is more soluble than Ki in ethanol in ethanol ethanol is not so a polar solvent like water it is considered as basically weakly polar or non polar solvent so LiI and Ki charge density of Li is much higher so here phi value of Li that is the polarizing power of Li is much more than Ki so which one is more ionic Ki is more ionic that is why Li will be more covalent and covalent phi increases that means covalency increases that means solubility in non-polar solvent increases that is why Li is more soluble as compared to Ki in ethanol then we can get we can have another question that why alkali metals alkaline earth metals alkaline earth metal means good two metals cannot be obtained by carbon reduction that is this portion cannot be obtained but copper can be obtained by copper and co why because copper is plus two this is also plus two but the metallic property of Ca2 plus is much higher than copper 2 plus that is why calcium oxide will have calcium the reduction potential of calcium is negative but the reduction potential of copper is much positive so copper can easily be reduced by carbon reduction method but calcium cannot be easily reduced so when it reacts with carbon it can form calcium carbide it can form calcium carbide instead of free calcium that is why alkaline earth metal or alkal alkaline metal they cannot be obtained by this reduction method this type of questions are very very important and we have 
another question that why they are good reducing agent because they can easily remove their electrons they have low ionization energy group ones are low ionization energy so they have easily tendency to remove their electrons that means they are easily getting oxidized that means they reduce another's so they are good reducing agents so group one elements are very good reducing agent than group two elements so this type of questions i hope they are you can have a clear concept regarding this if you follow this video and to get more video please subscribe to this to my channel and like and share thank you for watching